Been a little while since I've done one of these, so iPhone 6s screen replacement. Screw, screw, screw. I'm gonna use a razor blade to open her up. She opens up with the cables in the top, and the owner of this phone told me that they just stuck the SIM card in without the tray, so I have to get that out as well. Honestly, it's probably gonna be really easy. Use your trays. <laughs> Unscrew battery. Unplug battery. Unscrew all the. Remove. Unplug. And remove. Now we set this phone aside. Move on to the screen. Unscrew. Remove. Unscrew. Unscrew. Remove. Re remove. 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 And eat. Very pretty. Place. Screw, screw, screw. Place. Screw, screw, screw. Place. Screw, screw, screw. Okay, time to clean this up. And by that I mean get rid of all this black crap. Perfect. Place our. Plug our screen. Screw, screw, screw. And the battery is. I really like this girl's background. That's a fan, and that's a laptop. First of all, I'm excited to clean this thing. Second of all, do you hear that? That means your fan is going bad. No goo. Off. Flip. And start unscrew. Hit and screw under that thing. Hit and screws under that thing. And under these things. And more screws. A little bit of razor blade, just like middle school. And that comes out. Boom. There's our culprit. And this whole board's gotta come. Four screws. Unplug everything. And the board comes out. Unscrew that. Unplug that. And eat your fan. New fan goes in. Screw the screw. Plug the plug. And now to put it all back together. Gonna plug all our plugs. And now we'll screw all our screws. Palm rest goes in and gets plugged. Snap, snap. Make sure it works. It works, so now to screw everything back in. Awesome. Now watch my next video if you want to see me clean this thing. So this guy is changing from um, a 5th gen Intel processor to a 3rd gen Ryzen. Honestly, I don't blame him, but it's my job to replace this motherboard and CPU. I am going to start just by unplugging things. 24 pin power, 8 pin PCIe, 8 pin CPU power, remove the graphics card, removing both of his SSDs just so I have more room, unplug all of the front panel connector, now the SATA cables, and USB 3.0. Gonna remove the liquid cooling block. I'm gonna let that hang out up there for now. Now to remove all motherboard screws. All the screws removed, the board comes out. This guy was worried about dust, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this top piece and get her dusted out. So there's quite a bit of dust in there. Some dust on the radiator and quite a bit from the front. <laughs> Check back to see it finished. So this guy did not provide me the um, mounting bracket for his CPU. Uh, his old one has an Intel bracket and we need the AM4 AMD bracket, which I don't have. So I have to get that from him before I do much of anything else. For now, I will socket his CPU. That is not something I like to do one-handed, so I'll take that off. I'm gonna go ahead and at least put this in here. Knock out his old IO shield. New one goes in. I put one screw in, now to put the rest in. I'm gonna go ahead and do all the front panel plug-ins. Got all those connected. Got SATA plugged in as well as power. Take his old RAM stick, put his SSD back in. And this one doesn't have the bracket for it to slide in. I'm probably gonna mount it in here. All right, I can finally finish this PC. So we've got our new mounting bracket for the cooling system. If you don't remember um, where this came from, or just weren't here for it, there are two other videos on this PC. So I need the back plate from his old motherboard. Or actually, I'm stupid, I don't. This one came with one. The new standoffs go in. This plate needs to come off. It spins, and then comes out. His thermal paste has gone dry. I'm gonna put some more on there. Gonna mount it in. Gonna plug the pump in. Insert graphics card here. And we're gonna test her out. This is first boot. No post. Turns out I'm impatient. Looking good. I'm gonna shut her off and finish the build. Very nice. Such a mess back here. I put his SSD in a tray. Everything's hooked. Side panel installed. Now I'm gonna get logged in, make sure everything works.